my name is uh, Alan Costley and I'm a, a consultant to Tokamak Energy and I've been working in the area of modelling concept future pilot plants and reactors, fusion reactors. The title of the paper is on the power and size of fusion pilot plants and reactors and what the paper describes is a uh, modelling exercise where we took the basic equations that describe the performance of the tokamak plasma and we looked at how that performance changed as we changed the size and we were expecting it to get better as the machine got bigger and worse as it got smaller. But to our surprise it didn't change with size. When we looked more closely we understood we feel we've understood why and that's detailed in, in the paper. But what this does of course, it opens up the possibility therefore of having a smaller tokamak with a high performance. And what the paper shows is the critical elements there are on the engineering and the technology side rather than on the physics side. And in a way that's good news because technology and engineering constantly changes with time and in a favourable direction and uh, there have been some favourable developments, in particular this uh, introduction of high temperature superconductors. First of all we've had uh, many positive comments, but also um, one very noticeable thing is the number of people that have downloaded to read it. And uh, that has exceeded more than 20,000 now in, in the last week. And that far exceeds any other paper ever published in a, in a nuclear fusion journal. The total number of downloads far exceeds the number of fusion scientists and engineers that is worldwide. So it, it clearly indicates that the paper is being read way beyond uh, uh, the fusion community. I think it reflects a, uh, a big desire to, to try to find alternative ways of producing power. Carbon-free, high-density power sources is what we desperately need. People are searching for that far and wide and I, I think it it's in that context that it's important and that's why people beyond fusion are looking at it. And of course, uh, if indeed it does end up leading to a paradigm shift in the, in the, in the way that uh, fusion research is approached, then uh, obviously we will be, all of us should be very pleased about that.